Hi there. I'm in Schoon this morning, just outside Perth, and uh, I'm about to set off on the Schoon 200 circular walk. Uh, it's a cracking walk, maybe about five and a half, six miles, something like that. And the walk itself starts at the old Schoon Church car park, and uh, it'll eventually bring us right back here. So it's a good circular walk and uh, lots of parking available. If you haven't got a car and you're travelling by public transport, lots of buses run from Perth out to Schoon. Uh, so we start at the old church. Leaving the church car park, make your way back up to the main street in Schoon and cross over to the far side of the road at the pedestrian crossing next to the Schoon Arms. Turn left at the crossing and make your way along the right hand side of the street until you come to Den Road. Turn right there onto a track that leads up between some houses on your left and a burn on the right hand side and follow this track until you come to a sign directing you right onto a wooden bridge. Crossing over the bridge, you follow the path ahead as it climbs up the hill between the trees and follow it on until you come to another wooden bridge. Cross this bridge and immediately turn right. Follow the path on until you come to a small metal gate which leads out onto a public road. Turn left and follow the road for approximately 100 metres. You eventually come to the entrance to Bonnard House where there is a signpost pointing to the right and that's the path that you want to follow to get to Macduff's monument. The path leads up through a narrow strip of trees. Cross over a footbridge and through a gate onto another public road and turn left. Follow this road uphill past the Eagle Gateway to Bal Craig House. Uh, it's taken me about I suppose about 10 minutes to walk up the road uh, since we came out of the woods and I've not passed a single vehicle. It's been really quiet uh, so don't be put off by the fact that you're walking on a road. It's a really quiet one. So we're going to uh, turn right here, head up the hill and just now as I look out I can see some mist uh, hanging in the, the glens down below and I think we're going to get some cracking views when we get to the top. Follow the track until you come to some metal gates. Go through the left hand gate and take the path that goes straight uphill rather than the vehicle track that goes off to the right. As you make your way up the hill through the trees, you emerge out onto open ground with Macduff's monument above you on the skyline. The monument was built in the 18th century by the Macduff family of Bonnard House. Well, we've arrived at Macduff's Tower. Just a spectacular morning. Uh, the sun's just breaking through the clouds over to the east there, and you can see all the mist uh, heading out towards hills like Stuchachroin and Benvorlich, Stabinion and Benmore. 
uh, Shahalian is up there on the horizon as well. It's just a glorious vantage point here. And uh, if you can make it up here, it is well worth the effort. I recommend it. Next stop though is up on the hill across from us a rather pointy obelisk and that's where we're heading next. There's two paths that head through the gorse bushes in the general direction of the obelisk and both will take you to a gate that's located in a dip underneath a beautiful oak tree. Pass through the gate and follow the path which now will take you directly to the obelisk. The obelisk was erected in 1853 in memory of Thomas Graham, Lord Lindoch of Balgowan, and he fought in the Peninsula Wars alongside Wellington in 1811. Such was his success, he became known as the Lion of Barossa. This vantage point offers stunning views south to the Lomond Hills, and the Silvery River Tay can be seen to the east, to the west, beyond Perth to Stuchachroin and Benvorlich, and north to the Cairn Gorms. After taking time to absorb all the wonderful views, leave the obelisk and head downhill, heading north on a path that descends towards woodland above the Murray's Hall golf course. The path swings left and passes a bench before reaching a golf course path cross straight over and descend on a path that leads down through the trees. When this path takes a right turn, follow the smaller one that goes straight ahead. This will take you down to the 16th tee where you turn right. You arrive at a gate onto a public road turn left here and follow the road for a short distance before turning right down a path just before some houses. Skirt around the right hand side of the green and head downhill onto a path through the trees on the left of a fairway. You will eventually emerge onto the driveway of Murray's Hall House. Turn left and follow the driveway all the way down to the entrance lodge and the public road. Turn right along the road and as you walk along with the golf course on your right, a standing stone appears in the field to your left. At a sharp right hand turn in the road, you will see a bench, some gates and a signpost indicating three quarters of a mile to Balgarvie. Pass through the gate and follow the track ahead.
As you get closer to Schoon, there's a good chance of seeing small aircraft flying overhead as they make their descent into Schoon Aerodrome. Just beyond a cattle grid, the track swings left up a gentle hill towards some buildings. Walk up to these houses and turn right onto a tarmac road. After a short distance, we cross over a road, descend some steps and walk down to the main A94 Angus Road. Cross over here and walk up Highfield Road and turn into Lover's Lane. At the bottom of Lover's Lane, cross over onto a grass path that connects through with Stormont Road. Turn right and walk a short distance up to Abbey Road and turn left here. It literally is all downhill from here to the bottom of Abbey Road which brings you back out where you started at the old Schoon Church. And that you, you've completed the Schoon 200 Circular Walk. <laughs>